In this video, we're going to look at the Appleby Healy Attorneys at Law site. So I'm just going to go through everything and show you how to use this site. So to log in, you go to your URL slash wp-admin, and then you'll use the username and password that we've already given you. And if you need that again, I can get it to you again. And you'll log in, and here you are. This stuff over here doesn't really matter. The stuff that we'll go through is just everything that's over here on the left-hand side. So some of these matter, some of them don't. I'm going to go down the list and talk about each one for you. And that should help you get everything set up and everything that you might want to change in the future is located over here. So home, that's just where all this stuff is. Updates, this is your plugins, themes, things like that. And we regularly go in and update these for all of our clients so we do checks and make sure everything is functioning as it should on your site so you never have to look at this if you don't want but basically it's just updated you just update to make sure you have the most recent version of all these plugins but we do that for you so you never have to worry about that if you don't want but that's where it is and that's what that means moving on to posts this is where you can add edit and create blog posts and it looks like someone is doing that currently so it looks like you guys uh, understand how that works but I'll just go over it for this video just for the sake of it so if you look at this this is kind of what most things are going to look like so a blog post a page it's all going to look very similar and so you'd put the title of your blog here the content of your blog down here and then a featured image over here so anything that you want to do on the text the text of the copy of the post you can bold italicize you can bullet and number list items here you can align it left center so basically like a word processing functioning type of thing so you can hyperlink uh to to any link within or without or outside of your own website so you would, to do that, you would highlight whatever text you wanted to make a hyperlink, and then you would type in or paste whatever URL, and then hit that button there, and then you could also remove it in the same way. You can add, wherever your cursor is, you can add a picture within the post if you'd like. You can make your text bigger or smaller through here. You can add a form. You can add a gallery of photos if you'd like and then you would come down here and select this image if you wanted to change it you just select any other and click select set featured image and then you click update and then you've got some categories here for blog posts and so you would select whatever categories you can add new categories through here categories and if you want to add a new blog you would say add new here or add new here and then you just get this same page only blank and so then you put your blog post title here put all of your content here categorize it set a featured image you can select an image that's already uploaded or you can upload one by selecting or dragging and dropping your files there you can save it as a draft you can preview it if you want to look at it what it looks like before you publish it and that's basically everything there that's blog posts for you media this is your media library so when i was a going to set featured images or add an image within a post it just brings me to my media library where I can select any of these items so you can see the size you can edit the image if you need to rotate it or anything you can get the URL for the image you can see the dimensions of the image those kind of thing so this is where all that's located if you need it it shows up where you need it so in the add media button under posts you can do that so you don't ever really need to worry about the media library but that's where that's located forms you just have one form and it's pretty straightforward so you've got name email subject and message so basically if you want to add any other fields they're over here so you can do a standard field just a single line of text and then if you wanted to add something like how did, oops, how did you hear about us? And you can do it like that. You can drag it to wherever you want. You can duplicate it if you want to, and then you can delete it. And then you always click update when you're done. 
and then these fields are already kind of created for you so if you need to add address email things like that I don't know that you're gonna need to do that or change much here it's very straightforward so then under notifications this is who is receiving these so when a form is submitted looks like this email and then Brittany Zachary are receiving these so you can see here if you need to create another one you want someone else to receive these basically all you would do is go to notifications here and then what I would do is just duplicate what's already here and then change the send to email to whatever email you need that to be and click update notification that's all you'd need to do you can view your form entries here You can view them by logging in, but again, they're, they're emailed to who they're supposed to be emailed to. So your form that you've got on there is pretty basic. So that's, that's most everything that you would need to know there. If you end up wanting to create another form, basically just replicate what you see there and what you see is already here. And when you're in, within a page or a section on a page, there'll be a, a spot where you can add a form and I'll show you that when we get to pages right here. So pages, that's next. And we've got several different pages and then we've got the home pages also here. So we'll start with the home page and we'll look at how that's built. So I'm gonna open up a new tab so that I can go down and show you, go through the list and show you how these things are created. So this top, these sections up here, the menu and the logo, that's created through another part of the site and I'll show you that when we get down to it and then this section right here is, is a revolution slider so all that's going to be in this section is just a short code so it's just the short code for the slider right there and you'll see that this little arrow collapses so that you can see more or less of it and there's nothing you need to change there everything's set up just fine on that part so then if you scroll down here you have these four different sections with that link to these different pages with more information on whatever type of law or whatever information you're looking at. So these are all done through each section below. So again, this collapses it and you've we, this title doesn't show up anywhere. That's just so you know when you're looking at it, when it's collapsed, which section you're looking at. So... Each of these is done in heading three. The text is centered and it's formatted as white text. So if you end up wanting to change out one of these sections, it would be fairly easy if you didn't change a whole lot. So let's say you want to create a, you create a new page and you want to feature it here. I don't imagine that's going to be the case, but I can show you how to do that just in case it is the case. So basically what you would do is just change the wording here. And then change the image so you could click on the X or the pencil and you could edit the image and replace it or delete it and choose another. Then we've kind of, the background position of the photo is changed through here so we make sure that the prominent part of the image is right there and you can see it. And the background color, so if you go here then you can copy and paste this and use it somewhere else. So if you want to use that color with that amount of kind of transparency over the top, then you can do that. And you see, you can see all these other, there is padding. It's not extra tall, not extra short, extra narrow. And we are doing a width lower than 100%, meaning we're doing one fourth sections here. So we've got it at 25% obviously that's one fourth and then the height of the section is 400 and it links to the estate planning page so if you created a new page you put that new link right there so if you want to change out the wording or if you want to change out the picture on one of these this is where you'd come to do that change the wording change out the picture and you can change any of the other things but if you change one you'd need to change all of them so if you change it to just third sections you could do that it might look a little different so if you end up messing around with this and you have some issues with it you can let us know if something gets messed up so then if you'll as we scroll down it's the same thing repeated for 
three more times. So it's heading three formatted as white text centered and then there's a photo and then it's going to have that same we position the photo just right and then it's going to have that same color overlaid one fourth section 400 linking to the specific page so then we do that again through this section and again through this section so we'll move on to the quote so underneath that you have uh, testimonial section that's what that's what we're using the plugin that's the word I'm looking for that we're using here is called testimonial rotator so a lot of times we use this for clients who want to add client testimonials so if you ever want to add anything to that we'll get down to it and I'll show you how or if you want to change it so right now all you have is a short code so that's just copied and pasted from the testimonial right there so don't have to change anything here and it's just we have formatted this through CSS so you probably won't want to mess with that too much you can see that the background color is right here so then if you ever needed to match this color that's where that is then we have the timeline section, which is down here. And so if you ever want to change this section, any of the wording here, again, it works just like the posts. You can add a photo, you can bold, italicize, whatever you want. And then this more section is created by using the hyperlink, which I showed you earlier, linking to that our story page. And then it's also formatted as a button. So you would just highlight it and then format as a button. And then anytime you make a change, you just want to make sure if you, and then if you collapse these, you have less to scroll up through. You just want to make sure you click update anytime you make a change so that you can make sure that that change has been updated on the site. So the learn more and then organization rotator. This is the section here and if you want to add pictures to that, again, we use a different plugin for that. And all you have here is just short code. So it's just this short code. And if you look at the visual side, this is what it looks like from the visual side. Same with any of these sections. This is what it looks like from the text editor side. So you can see where it's linking to, where the button's linking to. You can see the code there. So if you want to add a food gallery, that's done through here and you only have one so it's this one that's added and it's just added that way and I can show you how to add pictures to that so that's everything on the home page those are all your sections the other stuff is in the header and footer like these items here in the footer and this stuff here in the header and I can show you how to edit that as we move along so let's look at the other pages really quick so that you can see basically they all function the same way so for let's look at this family law page from the front end and the back end so in the first section you can see we have centered header one heading one of whatever that page title is going to be and then you have as you scroll down same way that it worked on the home page you have a background image if you ever want to change this you just delete it and then upload a new picture and then you can change the position of the photo if you want and again that that blue overlay is the same right here and everything is everything else is normal so then you move to the next section with the intro and this is where all your words are beneath here and that's it so if you want to change the picture the title of the page or any of this that's where that's located and again you would come up here and hit update so then all your pages under this section are going to work exactly the same way you're going to have a picture with that heading and the color overlay Let's look at this page. So 
So this has coding that is specific to this page. So if you end up wanting to add something else that looks like this and functions like this, you can try to duplicate what you see here with the short code and then just change the wording to fit. So special planning for kids, change that to whatever title you want and then change whatever link you want right there. So if you copied that and pasted it, and then it should just look exactly the same if you put it right next to it. And then it, they would all be right there. So then these go to other pages. Again, it's going to function the same way. So everything should be in these little sections. And... Our story. This one works very similar to the home page in that it has a slider at the top, so it just has that short code. And then you've got a picture and you've got the text and information and so there's code here splitting that in half so that one half goes over here and one half goes over here <clears throat> then as you scroll down <clears throat> you have the words timeline with this background color and it's an extra short section that makes it super skinny like that and then we have another slider with your history on it And I think we need to look at the services page. And this has a slider at the top. So let's look at it here as well. I'm guessing it's this page. So this works basically the same way as the home page. You have an estate image section. So you have the picture, you have that color overlay, and it's one fourth of the width section here. <clears throat> and then the height is 500 pixels and it links to the estate planning page and then you go the next section is the estate planning words and again you have that button so you can change any of the words here if you'd like and then you can see as you scroll down it's 75 percent so it takes up the other 75 percent of the width and it's also 500 pixels and you want to make sure if you are changing anything here the height excuse me the height needs to be the same on both of these obviously or it won't look right and so then as we move down it's going to be the same thing so real estate transaction photo and then the real estate transaction color overlay 25 percent we made this the height of this section had to be taller because there was more words on this section and we link it to the appropriate place and then you have the the wording section which is going to have a background color which you can see here and it's 75 percent and it's the same height as its co uh, coordinating section there and again it just goes back and forth with a gray background and a white background and you can see if you want to change the color or excuse me if you want to change the photo or if you need to change the words or change the wording on the button whatever you need to do there that is how that's done so let's say you're creating a new blank page out of nowhere you would click add new here or here same with blog posts you would say add a page section because you have without that 
you don't have anything. So you would give it a title. Again, this part doesn't matter. Then you can type whatever stuff you want in here. And then as you scroll, you can copy and paste that color and put it in here. You can say if you want the extra tall, extra short, or extra narrow. And what width of the section? Is it a full width section? If so, you just leave it there. If you want to hyperlink the whole section, then click yes, enter URL. If not, then click no. And you can either remove the row or add another page section. So then I can remove. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Or I can add a page section here. However you want to do that. And then that's how you would add a page. The only other pages I think would be good to talk about are the specific people pages and then the... attorney pages. I don't think as far as the contact page goes it's going to work just like kind of like the other sections. We can look at that one too. So David you have the let's go here so you have that section here with the name and the blue and then you can see the blue here. You can see that it's an extra short section. And then here's his bio. So you just add the text and we just selected, we just added a photo right here and made it align le aligned left. And all his information's here. We use a special code uh, and plugin to make the, the section here. So if you need to add sections like this, you can copy and paste this. And basically, you're just going to duplicate or recreate what you see here if you need to create it. So it expands. You need it to expand. And then you want the title to be professional. And so you would just need to copy and paste this in between each section and then change the name of whatever section is expanding here. So this is where all this stuff can be updated, edited if you need to, and then <clears throat> make sure that you put that closing tag at the end if you want to add that anywhere. And that's where all that stuff is located. So each person has their own page. And the row of attorneys, this is done through putting these in columns. So if you guys end up hiring someone else and you need to add another person, that might be a time to just email us and ask us for help. This is a little bit more difficult than just adding something simply. So if you en end up needing to add another attorney to that page, we would be more than happy to help you do that. And then I wanted to look at the contact page, which again, I think you're probably getting the understanding of how this works. Each page is split up into little sections. For the contact page, we have a slider at the top. I'll show you where those are located in just a minute. For the map, we have a short code for the map. And then this is where your locations are. They're split into three columns using that short code, that column short code. And sometimes that can be confusing, but if you just replicate what you see here, then you could do it again if you had problems and wanted to create columns. There's also website help that can help you understand how the column short code works. But basically, you just need to have opening and closing tags that look like this. And if you say you want to add it, it'll show you how to do it to do one half or one thirds or one fourths, and it'll give you the code. You'll just select what you want and it'll put it in there. This hyperlinks to a Google map to, in order to <clears throat> hyperlink the telephone number you just put telephone like that in there and so if you ever need to change any of this that's where that's located and you just click update so i think that takes us through all the pages on the site so let's move on to the next section comments <clears throat> this would be if you had enabled comments on your blogs which you hadn't foo gallery the only one you're using this for is for those logos. 
<clears throat> for the home page. So if you want to add another one, I would you all you'd have to do is click add media and drag and drop files or use something that's already in the media library here. Click add media, click update, and that's going to work just fine for you if you ever need the short code to add to another place. That's where that's located. I don't foresee you needing to create another gallery for anything else, but if you do, you'd basically just click add gallery and again what I always say, a good option is to just replicate what you see here if you want it to look the same. If you want it to slide through like what is on the home page. If not, you can mess around with it and try to add other galleries. But again, I don't foresee that being something you need to do. Uh, moving on to testimonials. This is where that quote on your home page is located. So let's say you want to change it out. You just click on this one and you can edit the text that's here. You can change what's on it you can change who said it and if you want to add another quote then you'd click add new and basically do do the same thing i don't think i think the plan is just to have that one quote there so but if you end up needing to add a new one you just click add new put the name put the information here and then once you get down here make sure you select home you want to attach it to the home rotator <clears throat> And then you would click update or publish. And that's it. I don't think you'll add another rotator to use anywhere else. If you end up wanting to add another rotator, basically, again, just replicate what you already see. And then you can add that rotator to another page or to a different homepage section using the short code here. So either as a list or as a rotator, you just would copy and paste that short code. Staff members, we're not actually using this for staff members because I showed you we're using specific pages for each staff member so nothing to see or use there genesis is the theme of your site i don't think we need to talk about anything there appearance we'll talk about two items here widgets and menus and widgets will be first and that's where we'll look at the header and the footer so in the header this is where your logo is located so let's say you need to change your logo or you have changed your logo and you need to change it on the website just click choose an image you can update it and make sure the link is to your home page you can change the size of the logo that will change the way it looks on your site so just be careful and make sure it's what you want and then click saved here and then you would just click ref come to the home page and click refresh and, and it should appear up here whatever changes you make would appear uh, navigation menu we've got just one menu on your site and so that's added by coming over here to navigation menu and then I selected headed right add widget and there's probably nothing that you need to worry about there that's I'll show you how to edit and change the menu in just a minute and you don't have anything else other than footer stuff so in the visual editor we have we'd like to hear from you contact us and that's just a button linking to the contact us page so if you want to change the wording here you can do that you can change this to link to a different page you can change any of that wording as far as the spacing and background goes you might need help if you add a lot of text there again you click save if you make any changes footer 2 then we have this image here the white background and then all of this which is linking to your site and then all of that text that's here is located here so you just would collapse each one and see which text you're looking for if you need to edit a phone number an address or whatever any of this information is right here so if you need to edit that that's where it's located and just make sure if you do edit it all of this is formatted as white text so just make sure it shows up as white if it doesn't when you click refresh looks like it's just set up to do that so you don't even need to worry about that but just make sure if you make any changes and if you have any problems with that then you let us know so that's everything there's really nothing you'd want to ch or need to change but if you do need to change the wording on any of this or you need to change out your logo in the top that's where that's located and under menus this is where your home page menu is located and this is set up perfectly right now I don't see any need for you to change it or 
updated in any way but if you do end up adding a new page you'd come over here to <clears throat> the page is going to show up under most recent and click add to menu it'll show up down here you can put it wherever you want by dragging it it can be a sub menu item you can change how it appears so i can change the navigation label to say whatever i want you can link to a outside website if you'd like by typing in whatever you want the page to say adding the URL and then add it to the menu and then again you can drag it wherever you want and then click save menu when you're done so that's how it was done here we just added the contact menu twice and then we have free consults and we did some code coding on this part to make it blue so if you end up accidentally deleting that one and it doesn't look the same you can let us know we'll help fix that yeah so just click save if you have any changes plugins somehow move down here during something I was doing but we already talked about that users this is where you can add a new user or change your password so if you want to come in here and change your password generate a new password and then change it to whatever you need make sure it's super secure a good password and click update users if you need to add a new user you just need their email so you need a username and email I usually use the same for both and then get a password and then decide if they're an admin editor author contributor whatever add new user and again be careful who you give admin access to <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about any of these things here in a row because I, there's nothing that you need to know here as far as <clears throat> Tools and settings, we set that all up when we launched your site. There's not much you'll need to do there. We use Duplicator to launch your site. A lot of these things are, are not, this section here is not stuff that you have to worry about. The next thing you need to worry about is Slider Revolution. If there are things you want to make changes on. So you have those sliders at the top of certain pages. And basically all that this is, is a background photo which you can change if you don't want it to be that photo you can change upload a new photo and choose it and you can change the wording on here if you'd like and basically that's it you just need to go through each screen size and make sure that your wording fits <clears throat> so if you change this wording and it doesn't fit then you just need to change the font size and make sure you make it smaller or bigger always make sure the line height is larger than the font size you can increase the font weight you can change the font, you can change the color. I doubt that you'll want to do that. So any of those that look like that are all the same. So if you want to change the text on there, you can. I mean, you can change this as well. You can change the blue background, you can add more text. I just don't foresee you needing to do that. And under slider settings here, you can get the short code for this particular slider right here by copying and pasting it. The timeline on the home page is also done through Revolution Slider. This one is quite a bit more complicated. <laughs> There's a lot of elements to this one. So I would say if there's, I double clicked on that and if you wanna change, you know, if this year is wrong or you wanna change what this says, you can do that and so then each slide has two of these on it so if you need to just edit simple things like words that's all done just by clicking double clicking I don't foresee since this is history you probably have already looked at the site and it's accurate so I wouldn't mess with this unless there's something really wrong with it and if there is you can always ask us for help so this is just I'm just going through this to help you but if you do run into issues you can ask us for help and then um yeah this one same functions the same way if you want to change that the wording on there and then just make sure you always click save slide and then you can preview how it looks on each screen size and then you know what you're looking at so that's everything there I 
not going to go too in depth because you're not, I don't think you'll be editing those a whole lot. Moving on to Google Maps, you have one map with your location on it. I, I believe you only have one. Manage Maps. Or you have two. Let's see. Contact page. We might have created two maps, but I believe we're only using one. So we can look on the contact page and I can see which one you're using. Map two. And also you can see you have these in third sections and then that form is added all the only way or the way you add a form is by clicking add form you only have the one form select it don't display the form description or title and click insert form and it will insert your short code for you so this is the map once you've added a location it will show up here and you can select it so if you want to add other locations here. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. All this is set up just right so that it fits on that page and looks nice for you. So there's really nothing you need to edit here unless you want to zoom out. You want to make the, the map height taller. It's left blank for 100% width. We've got the scrolling wheel turned off. So let's look at any changes. Again, save the manage locations. So if you wanted to add a new location, you could just say add location here. And if you need to edit this one, it there it uses the same form, same area. So location title, you type in, you know, Appleby Ozark. And then if you want to type in the Springfield office or something like that, then you would just click add new, say Appleby office, type in the location here, and it's going to pull it up for you. And you can just select it and it's going to fill in this automatically then you can redirect to the specific page where it says redirect URL just put in the Google map when you type it into Google Maps get the link for your specific location and click save location so I'll go to add location And then once you start typing, it's going to come up with stuff. So whatever it is, and it'll fill in the rest for you. And then all you'd have to do is hit save location. And then under manage maps, it's going to show up. Once I've added a new location, it's going to show up down here. And I would just select it and click save map. And then you could have two little markers on that, on that map if you zoomed out enough so that you could see both Ozark and Springfield. So that is basically everything. Maps takes us to the end. There's nothing really here that you need to look at in Pods Admin. So that's your whole site. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know, but that should get you really started.